gotchas. <clears throat> There's no gotchas. We're all in this crazy. We're all in this crazy post-apocalyptic world together. I was trying to go with something. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> hey, Dom. Yeah, I know. I saw it. Don't worry. Gotcha. There ain't no gotten. Ain't no gotten's. Fake news. Hey, now, don't get out of here. Don't come in with that Florida talk. <laughs> the entire the entire state of Florida is fake news. That, you know what? Actually, that's not that's not a lie, man. Because I mean, I think the last three four girls I've been with were yeah. fake. So, like non-existent. Hey, oh, no, you're you got me on here. that one. You're you're handsome and charming. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Overachievers Gaming Podcast, episode 40. Dang. 40. The wow. big 4 0. Dang. That's kind of crazy, man. 40 episodes. Plus, with our you know, MSF podcast, we're at like Which 60 that, something now. Yeah. Oh, well, I can't yeah. do math now. So, yeah, 58. 58 so, that's pretty cool. But uh, anyway, thank you guys for tuning in and listening to us now while everyone's locked in quarantine. That's really the only thing that's keeping us sane is doing this, playing video games, streaming on Twitch, doing stuff. Although we probably should be doing more on our social medias where you can find us on Instagram at OG.podcast. Our Twitter is Overachievers P. Our website is beingoverachiever.com where you get this episode and every episode. We're talking point, about uh, our Instagram is just me posting dumb clips of me. <laughs> yeah. If I, as soon as I'm done working on the house and as soon as I'm done with all that stuff, like I will be taking it a little bit more seriously because I just did not have any time whatsoever. Um, because, you know, as we were just saying in our live chat. So if you want to see this um, live as we record this, you can follow us on Twitch at twitch.tv slash OG podcast. We do this live and you can just hit the notifications and it'll let us know whenever we're live. We have uh, 61 followers right now on the uh, on the Twitch, which is pretty good considering we do zero advertising for it. We do so. zero. For it, yeah. Yeah. Uh, have we hit affiliate for it yet? Uh, you know, that's a good question because I feel like they Our need steps to were like super close. Yeah, I'm guessing that like we have to do like some other like stream on multiple days. Maybe I'll do that um, next week whenever I have some time yeah, to like get us into affiliate and whatnot because that's just kind of kind of funny. I remember when it was like us trying to hit affiliate on Twitch for whatever. They got personal. Yeah. God, it was like the hardest thing I've ever done. Yeah, it was like it was difficult. Now look at us where like you know in the thousands of followers. Is it really that hard to get affiliate? I mean, I'm not trying it, to sound honestly. Well, the problem I found was having an average. Uh, three streamers a time because I, I didn't realize at the time that I should be playing a more niche game. I was playing Destiny 2. So okay. Like, yeah. Why would anyone yeah. pop into my stream? You know, you know, that's actually a thing, right? Because like I had tried uh, for a period of time to stream like Dark Souls and things like that, and I would get zero viewership. And then I'd go over to Marvel Strike Force and it's like, oh, I yeah, average you know, 30 people, people 50, you know? Yeah. How many yeah, people are doing yeah. it? The first time Charlie ever op- opened, like, st- streamed a, a Strike Force, it was like 20 people off the bat. And I was like, what is this bullshit? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I mean. That's what it is, though, because <clears throat> also Twitch's algorithms, not to like, I'm not, I, I don't want to like shit talk Twitch or anything, but like their algorithms definitely favor higher count, view count streamers. Like, they don't have like a put the low ones at the top, obviously. They're going to see who's nah. like in the 10K viewer for like, Call of Duty or 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 you know Counter Strike or whatever you know what I mean, which kind of I get it, but I also find that a lot of uh, obscure sections of Twitch are really under under uh, I don't want to say underutilized or under highlighted. I don't know, but I'm sorry, underappreciated. Yeah, I mean, I, I I feel like they're they could do a better job of shedding light on newbie streamers or maybe people that are like that's doing... was, and that's what I'm saying. I feel like there should be some kind of like there should be a channel. Where it randomly goes to a streamer that has less than like five. I mean, viewers. like Mixer's hype train. Is that, is that, is that, is that I, what it is? I was thinking to say, is that like the uh, what was that one thing you could do where you could like chat with random p chat roulette or something like that? Oh but it's man! Like, yeah, but that yeah, was way more for. Well, no, I know, but I mean, I'm talking about if, like. 
Imagine if that came back around with a quarantine. That'd be hilarious. Oh, God. Is that, was that still a thing? I don't know. We'll it must find be. out. It must this be. This is... All right, hold the podcast. We're gonna go do a little chat roulette. Chat second. roulette. Huh? We're not doing that. And, <laughs> we're not we're doing go that. From there. <laughs> we're not uh, doing that. That's like immediate spin dot com. Oh my they're, god! They're throwing out bands left and right right now. So I, I might switch. switch. Yeah. For what? Any any like I mean that one girl. <clears throat> I think Casey what, Tron. Tron. Yeah, she just got banned because she said she's gonna get infected and go hang out with all old people. So, yeah, she said. She why would you? Oh my god! Well, she's an idiot. idiot. I mean, she she I'm literally. I mean, to say, yeah. Is it ban worthy? I, I mean, probably not. They have to make an like, example out of her. Yeah. Oh, don't, yeah. Dude, don't make big, light of pandemics. So one of the things I actually do, it's a guilty pleasure of mine, is I like watching Twitch fails. Like oh, things, Twitch fails is great. I I kind of find them entertaining. And well, the, the thing I, I find that Twitch fails used to be just funny clips of people messing up, and now yeah. it's definitely just like like dumb gotcha moments it's like it's, the tmz it's, it's of, downgraded of, a little bit yeah it's not yeah. Like hard gossip now like yeah oh God. like uh oh did you this see this on online this t- offline tv like this guy and this girl were seen yeah. holding hands together like oh shit i know it, it used to be a lot more funny <laughs> like just like dumb stream moments but it's definitely more like gossipy whatever but yeah yeah it, but it's still it's like, like, i kind of i, I, I kind of I don't know. I, I I watch it sometimes, and like some of the stuff I see about people getting banned or things like that, I often say to myself, "That person was one hundred percent doing that to drive some oh, kind yeah. of buzz." You know, oh, like yeah. you know they were. There's some shit. There's some stuff people do. It. There's you're like, there's no way that that was just like coincidental. You know, but like that stupid kid, that Fortnite pro. Who was like, hey guys, I'm gonna show you. I don't aim bot, but I'm gonna show you what would happen oh, if you do yeah, aim bot. And, and then he gets upset that he gets banned from the game. It's like, bro, you literally broke the terms of service on stream in front of thousands of people. What did you expect was like, gonna happen? Yo, like physical proof. <laughs> it could, undeniable. There, there, literally, there's you can't have any more proof than what that yeah. dude that dude had. You know, talk was, about Twitter. Uh, Twitch streamers, not to cut you off, but like yeah. uh, I wanted to talk about. Uh, I, I'm not, I don't want to say his name incorrectly, but Dinez or Dinez, D- Dinez, yeah, Dinez. Dude yeah. is actually a very good streamer. Oh, I yeah, checked great. out his stream several times, yeah. and he's actually gr- like uh, since we had him on the last time, his average count has definitely surpassed 100, and I wouldn't be surprised if he hits partner status pretty soon. Like no, he's homie's actually good. like yeah, yeah. But I, in my opinion, like that's that's probably a good example of um what happens when you actually find your niche in this community and kind of stick with it you know and the two two streamers that since i've been locked down pretty much that i've been like going back and forth actually dinez and then also our boy upshaw uh every time he's on i just i just subbed him in the day too trying to like this is a good time to if you can to support like creatives in any manner right mm-hmm. just yeah. because it, it's uncertainty times like if you don't have a salary obviously shit gets great i mean charlie knows that the, i mean all three of us well i mean not i'm not in that boat anymore thank goodness but it's just, you don't have if you don't have consistent work any any support is is great support so like especially find find a streamer you like find a band you like find anything you like do something buy buy a shirt or throw a sub or yeah, you if know, you have anything. Twitch Prime, throw a Twitch tr- Prime to people whom you like to follow. I'm not saying us. I'm just Twitch saying Prime. Um, the uh, so. ba- the website Bandcamp they do a lot of um, stuff with like independent uh, artists, stuff like that. They've waived their collection fees for any kind of donation or artist buys or anything like that on their website. Like find stuff like that. There's a lot of uh, companies that are doing stuff like that for 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 the people that use their platform. So I would say like speaking of support supporting that. creatives. Oh God. During this stressful time, it's never a better time than ever to check out Gamefly, right? Oh, now. yes. Uh, come true. on. I mean, <laughs> and, and not only that. Actually, I should do Gamefly during this. Why don't you? Why don't you? Why don't you give them a little spiel? Because I'm actually this is the part that I don't know. I don't know the code that we use. <laughs> hey, but you just well, nailed it, though. <laughs> I was good at the intro, but I but I, I need you. I just, can we tag team this? We hey, can Dina's is here. Hey, hey. Dina's is here. Hey, look at that. We were literally just talking about you. That's actually really uh, funny. We uh so the, the Gamefly code there's no code but there's a link down below oh, it's a, you right, click. It's a link it's a link yeah. and uh, that will give you 30 days free Look of Gamefly so I still you know what that is we're quarantined for two weeks that's half of that time you can get it's for true. free it's true I mean never better never a better time than ever to play that obscure game that you've always wanted to try out but didn't have enough time to play I wonder if actually yeah, like, the question oh, is are they, are they shipping right now. <laughs> 
Bullet storm. Oh my god. Do you remember I mean, the, I, the only oh, thing so I can say is that uh, yeah. UPS and everybody's been dropping off. Shit FedEx is still doing it. Yeah. So, I mean. um, so Dina has just said Tomb Raider is free on stream. And that just reminded me I've collected Steam, a couple, a, a few. Li- I said Steam. Did I say stream? You stream. did. Wow. D- uh, Tomb Raider <laughs> is free on Steam. And I've also collected a list of some games that you could play for free right now uh via via uh via various platforms so if you don't know if any of you ever played magic the gathering or a similar card game they have a uh an online um they have an app like an app like a desktop app called magic the gathering arena it's free to play oh uh, super they, fun too very fun i i actually i might shit i might stream that later too why not you know your boys got some time yeah why <laughs> uh, not, man? uh really fun i play it a lot i don't have many decks built just because it is a little annoying building decks that's the only thing that kind of stinks but it's just like you got to grind out to get wild cards and you can get like better cards out of that, blah, blah, blah. Fun, fun as heck. Uh, uh, a Polygon had a article, five digital board games for PC, mobile, and console that you could play at home online. Uh, a game called Talisman, Love Letter, Mysterium, Sentinels of the Multiverse, and Ticket to Ride. And then... Kotaku had an article, <clears throat> games you can play for free while you're stuck at home. Very nice. Assassin's Creed Odyssey is free to play come, I think, Monday. Yeah, uh, Life like is it. Strange Episode 1 is currently on the Microsoft Store. Altos Odyssey is a is on the Apple app right now. It's totally free. The Epic Game Store has uh, a couple things, like Syndicate is free right now. They have two free games, uh, Watch Dogs and the Stanley Parable. Uh, that that will be on the desktop Epic Game Store. Um, itch.io free, free right now. I'm I'm downloading both of those as we speak. Dope. Itch.io is a, an indie game storefront, and they have some free stuff too. Uh, check out their sale page. Uh, Gog Gog is running a, a list of, of free stay at home games, which is pretty dope. Uh, and then also, like obviously, you have all the battle royales, right? Apex Legends, mm-hmm. Call of Duty, Warzone, Fortnite; those are all free. And then, if you don't have PlayStation Now or Xbox Game Pass, um, excuse me, they have um, uh, free trials. So check those out because both of those have a nice library of of games and stuff to do. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, that's, that's a lot that's of free the, stuff. Yeah, it's and, and you know, obviously, like we have. <laughs> The time, the time is now, right? If you if you've ever put off like a game because you don't have time, or you know you have less going on at work or life stuff, or you know now. like <clears throat> moving, or moving exactly. I'm actually at this moment. I wish I did it beforehand so we could have talked about it on the stream. Uh, downloading uh, Doom Eternal. Uh, yeah. Excited to play that because people people are saying it's really good. Yeah, I'm I'm excited to play that. I played the shit out of Doom, the 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 one that came out like two years ago, and I loved it. Platinum to that game. That's Apparently, this one is way better. That's what people are saying. Is it? Because I really enjoyed the other yeah. one. So they're saying I, I had a the, good the time funny. With it. Yeah, it's like the comparison was uh, Doom 2016 was a rock album, and Doom Eternal is like uh, Norwegian black metal. Like it's just the it's just like up to the amazing. Up the, That's a yeah. great analogy. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm really excited because Doom's always been a. I feel like Doom has always been like a staple of a shooter, right? That and like yeah. Unreal Tournament. Like you know, there's always been like a couple mm-hmm. of games that were like Unreal staples of, of of first person shooters. And uh, I forgot who I don't know if IGN or if it was someone just said it, it's the best shooter in years. So I'm excited to try that shit out. Yeah, well, I'm I'm looking forward to giving it a go because um, I'm gonna have hopefully by next weekend I will be settled fully in done. enough. Well, not fully done, but I'll be set up. Like I just got my office set up, so we, I did it so we could stream today, which is where we're streaming from today. This is my new office area that I'll be you know recording and streaming from, and hopefully everything will be settled in because we're, we're having movers come tomorrow, so we're gonna be officially out of the old condo. Then. <sighs> Uh, and then I'll be wait. ready to go. Yeah, you know, I cannot. Well, it's just more yeah. like I hate going back and forth. Like, yeah, it's even yeah. though I'm I'm five minutes down the road, but like, like I've been working on the house, and I realized that like you know I I forgot my power drill at the old place. <laughs> I went to get the power drill, and then I realized yeah. I forgot all my my drill bits. So I was like, oh my god, this is the worst. So I'm excited to have my own like spot ready to go and just like be done and don't have yeah. to move and do anything. So that's what yeah. I'm looking forward to. And I'm just really just looking forward to hunkering down and really getting in some streams because I've been really wanting to do more streaming yeah. and do more 
you know, playing games, interacting with community. Cause I feel like now we kind of have like a little bit of a community going on with our discord and everything else, even though we're, you know, doing more, you know, whatever it's Marvel strike Force, black desert mobile, some other stuff. I've actually, I know we've talked about black desert mobile in the past before, but like, you know, I've joined a really awesome uh, clan in black desert oh. mobile and doing more. So like, I want to stream that game more cool. because it's just been, it's pretty awesome. Like I'm what is like the, 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 the player base in that. Is there a lot of people that play that? There's 20 million downloads of that game. So, and that was, uh, I think like three months ago. Jeez. I think was, So it's a, it's a lot. I mean, I, I really like that game. I'm a hundred percent free to play in that game. And like, I just, um, the max level is level 70. Cause they just raised the max level, um, from 60 to 70. And they just had a bunch of new ascensions, which essentially means that your character, has a new set of abilities, a new set of uh, things that it can do, and you get you get stronger, and you can do more things with the characters, and like your appearances change. It's yeah. really awesome. It's, you know, it's it's like a little mini MMO in mobile form. It really is, yeah. That, and that that's the take I got from it. <clears throat> I just didn't, I don't have the patience for MMO style games anymore. That's only yeah. Thing. I mean, that, that's that's fair to say. It's just like you know, I I'm enjoying just like, living. Destiny too. I don't play Destiny two anymore. Yeah, which uh, is like is a, King King uh, Destiny two boy. King Dingling for King Dingling. Dingling. Yeah, but I'm just I'm really enjoying that. Like you know, you log did you in for steal a little bit. my my term. Sure Your did. shit's been stolen, dude. That's what happens when you don't pay attention from, for so long. Like we stole that shit like years ago, and we only knew you for like. Is that months. why you thought it was so funny when I said it? Yes. Okay, <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. It's all starting to make sense now. Yeah, it's hey, all uh, coming back around. Let's talk about video games we're playing. Okay. Because we're both playing. Warzone, obviously, you were streaming Warzone. Okay, I just want to talk about Warzone, like yeah, in, in a about, nutshell. So, talk about are you guys good at this game? Are you guys good at that game? So, I'm I've not... gotten I've gotten second place more times than I can count. I honestly, it's all and this this I'm gonna, this is the me. problem I have with the game, huh? I said Dom's better than me at that point because so, I'm in like boys top ten. So, I, I usually have some good people. It's really fun. I, I do enjoy it. The problem with Warzone is it's so chaotic, like a hundred fifty person map. At first, I was like, yo, this is going to be dope. That's so many people. That's awesome. But it's like, it is a literal war zone. And, and you can get shot. You can get shot from like a mile away. It doesn't matter how good your armor is. You're just going to be like, full, like gone. And that's, that's a Call of Duty game. Like, and so it is fun. It's really it, in, you know, like with Apex, I'm a very aggressive player. I'm always pushing forward. It's just like, boom, 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 boom. But with Warzone, it's like I'm crawling on the ground for three minutes. Like, because <laughs> there's like dudes over there, dudes over there. It's like way more slower, which isn't bad at, by any means. But it's just some, it's just some, it's kind of a, it's a, a little, a little like adjust, adjustment period there. You know what I mean? So yeah. I, I, I get, we get second a bunch, but it's always in that last, like the circle's real small. You don't know where the other guys are. They're probably literally laying on their bellies too, waiting for you to pop up. And it's like, or like you're running to the circle. There's dudes already in the building that are in the circle and they just like shoot you're dead. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. it's like, it's, it, I feel like it's, if you're a, an okay first person playing a uh, uh, player at first person shooters, getting to the last circle isn't so bad, but the problem is it's usually so fast. Like, in that moment you're not paying attention to that building over there or those bushes or anything and people are they're waiting there they're sitting there they're, they're camping yeah. it's a hard camping game every call of duty is like a hard camping game you know what i mean so i so, i but that said, i do enjoy it so I, I i'm enjoying it and dina has asked in our chat is like don't you feel the tick rate of warzone is a bit mad i mean i i would agree i haven't done i haven't gotten to like the final circle match. I think I've gotten it once with uh, Loco, like he and I have been playing and also with white Fang, like we've been all playing together, you know, whenever I have free time. Um, I like it. I would say I like it a little bit better than the black ops. Um, oh yeah. Are you guys playing this on PlayStation or PC? PlayStation. I'm on Xbox. It's, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, Oh, you're one of those people. It's what's it called? Uh, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. What's cross, the, platform. Cr- cross platform or cross play cross play cross play that's what it is yeah because it i actually like that fact because like you know i could play with you guys or like we have people who play on pc uh, oh, it's, it's, and we can all perfect. squad Every game should be a cross play i Hot think beat. it's i think that implementation is is fantastic and i really think that more companies should well, be doing that it opens up the the competition to a much bigger scale right it does yes but i also think that it, it's good in terms of just being able to bring people together so it's like you mm. know we could oh right 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 but and like, that's and that's the thing that the argument against crossplay about like 
why why like and like from a company standpoint why would i let someone from xbox play the PlayStation? i'm never gonna buy like, I, i'm never gonna buy a playstation and it's not because i don't like playstations these cost a lot of money i'm yeah. i've been doing xbox for most of my life so i'm just gonna i'm just i'm i'm hardwired to get xbox stuff yeah, so you it's made not an like, investment in that platform right they're not losing money from me if they open up their cross platform i was never a potential customer anyway you know what i mean yeah and they obviously have the technology to do this we've seen it <laughs> multiple times now with video games so just open it every game should have this now like every game should have cross platform every multiplayer game should do it and the argument I really used to wish... be sorry good no good i you know like i'm playing path of exile right now on playstation 4 and i i i think it would be cool if i could play with people on pc and i don't know why they don't do that you know like it it's weird to, to me that there's a like, different server for each version of it you know like it used to be this these were the reasons it used to be this because okay. the argument used to be that a massive keyboard player would beat a uh, controller player. yeah it used to be like with, yeah. with halo halo 2 that was the argument why because halo 2 used to be xbox and pc yeah at the time the pc players were smashing xbox players mm, smashing. i could see but, that yeah but that's not the case anymore Everyone's used yeah. to controllers. Everyone's used to everyone's used to it. Like you have There's, pro Fortnite guys playing like with controllers playing. <laughs> on their PC. You know what I mean? So that argument I think is no longer true. And I think now at this point, oh, Dita's asking a funny question about not funny question. No, we're but, gonna get to that. We're gonna yeah, get we to will. that for sure. But I, at this point, I think they should all they should all be clash cross Like I I played with a couple of my uh, very close friends the other day that I haven't played video games with in forever because they both have PlayStation. But they're like they text me like, oh, we're doing call, uh, Warzone. Here's our Activision tag. Perfect, done. You know what I mean? So, are Fortnite and all the other like cla- battle royale games are they not cross platform? For- Fortnite is okay, not between. Is, yeah. I I, th- I don't know if it's still the case, but it used to just be, uh, just not PlayStation and Xbox. So Xbox players could play with PC and Switch. Mm. PlayStation players could play with uh, PC and Switch, and then Switch could play with any PC could play with any. I don't know if that's still the case. I think so. I assume. Interesting. Right. Well, it's been it's been a minute. I've for... played yeah forever. I I just know that like the last update, like Upshaw was bugging out because they changed some like legacy settings or something like that. I don't know. Uh, I I haven't kept up with Fortnite in God knows how long. Apex is yeah. not. Uh, they still have a big enough player base that I guess it doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. Um, I still play Apex in the regular. I love Apex Legends, but um, yeah. So I I will say just from I played a bunch of the Call of Duty um, Blackout battle royale and i yeah i, I, I would that. say i was pretty good at that game like yeah. that's actually mm-hmm. where i met dinez from that because he and i would play together i think just when that game first came out oh, really? and mm-hmm. um that and so like i was used to like how that game played out and the the i like how warzone is kind of like a bridge between that mode apex legends and kind of like the uh firestorm from uh, battlefield I don't know if you guys played that that mode wow. at all. I, I played it for maybe a week. And uh, it just kind of reminds me like everything like melted together. It's just a really good sort of, um, I don't know, the medley, I guess, is the best sure. word for it. Yeah. But so like when you're saying that, like, you know, it's very chaotic, very war zone ish, like at the beginning, like I would agree with that. I think that's, you know, an accurate portrayal of how yeah. that game is. But like, you know, I, I liked, you know, rolling up on people, um, you know, you have a group that you'd roll in on or you see people like, okay, okay, you know, I can do this. And, you know, if you lose your fight, then like, you're not just dead. You actually go to the gulag. It's interesting. That's a very interesting implementation. The, yeah, I love, I love that. Like you get a second chance. And so it's like, okay, you have to fight one-on-one versus someone. And if you win, you get to go in free of charge. But if you lose, you then have to go, your teammate has to buy you back in. Yeah. For 4,500 bucks or whatever it is. Yep. Um, But, the nice thing is trash at all those games. <laughs> but you know what? It's like I was, I am too, but I'm just been, I've been, it's one of those things where it just mu- becomes muscle memory. You just have to get good at it again. It's just, you're not sure. going to be, oh, you have to get good. Couple. Is that what you're saying? That's, that's yeah, the best you, thing you could recommend to me, Charlie. Get good. Get you good. Know. <laughs> put the time. Well, it's just more, put the time in and it's just, you know, understanding the map mechanics and where things are and how things work and what's where to go for the, the, the best guns and like what guns you feel comfortable with, what you can aim with. That well, kind of and, thing. and that's, a, that's actually the thing I will say <clears throat> I will disagree with because in, in apex, you know, that there's high tier loot, mid tier loot. It's all there in Warzone, It seems mostly, Oh, Charlie disconnecting. Damn it. All right. You know, so my now we're is shot. 
Yeah. That's All right. Good. So sorry, my internet disconnected. So that's pause of the recording. So okay. I'm sure it'll happen again. You guys so. just missed the most incredible rant that Ashi Pastrami, aka King Deli Meat, has ever gone on in his entire it's true. life. I uh I was pretty much a thesis on the uh state <laughs> of gaming. Exactly. Yeah. It was his thesis for um, his PhD in video game what, analogies. Or what, I, what I was saying before was uh like with like with um you know Fortnite like Apex, for example there are places where you know there's going to be like high tier loot right but i found in in warzone the, the i don't i don't care where i drop i'm just waiting to get $6000 or the collective team to get $6000 so we can call in a loot drop and then i'll have my um my loadout loadout exactly or a loadout drop thank you not a loot drop loadout drop so like realistically i don't care like i'm not looking for like a spot i'm looking for a spot that will be strategically good like maybe like something that's like in the ring already or it might have a like a helicopter i like helicopters personally i think helicopter is a dope addition to the game i've stayed along so long just literally flying around the helicopter i've also dropped my helicopter into a group of people before which is hilarious um but yeah i'm not i'm not really looking for like a spot that might have good loot i'm looking for survivability because i'm just waiting for six thousand dollars to get that loadout drop straight up you know interesting um yeah that's how i feel personally the thing about blows my mind no pun intended about <laughs> these games is the fact that like okay so when i'm playing it i'm like sitting here right and i'll be like staring at my screen i'm like okay if i see one pixel move like i'm gonna shoot this bitch you know like I'm, <laughs> I'm, i got this you know no problem and then it and then all of a sudden i just get dropped from like the middle of nowhere and i'm like how did anybody see me or like what the hell just transpired like what is going on like i just i don't know man i don't know if like i just truly suck at first person shooters or 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 what i i guess maybe i just need to take vash's advice and get good but get um, good son <laughs> i mean it's funny because obviously that he's saying that in a in a sarcastic manner but it kind of is just that you just have to play it more until you get used to the yeah. drops you get used to like the guns, that's what I mean like, by getting good. It's just like, yeah, it's just it's just learning the mechanics and where things are, and that just comes from time. You just can't jump in and be like, you could be the best, you know, you could be a shroud at at shooting and whatnot, but like you won't be able to know where anything is or the mechanics until you actually play it a few times. So, I went to mixer, right? That was the thing. Yeah, maybe I don't, I don't know. know. That's going. Yeah, no, he definitely Probably went to mixer. Great. He one hundred percent went there that's and then right. fell off the face of the earth. Yeah, I forgot about. Uh, I don't know. I mean, again. yeah, I guess. I'm sure he's doing well in Mixer, but I totally forgot about Shroud. That's the thing. I'm sure like all these streamers that went to Mixer are doing fine, but I'm just still on Twitch. Like I'm I still think that Disguise Toast did the did, did, he easily killed everyone else in terms of like he went to Facebook and definitely started making bank. Like oh, really? mega bank. Yeah. And I think it because everybody was criticizing him. They're like, why would you go to Facebook? Like nobody's there. And he was just yeah. kind of like very He's a very smug personality, or he has a very smug personality, and he just kind of like alluded to the fact that he made it. They they gave him an offer he just could not refuse, and it's hey. like, you know, that's uh, yeah, that's the only so. thing I'll say about the Facebook thing is I don't I don't think that they're I think their UI is bad. I think the whole that's setup terrible, dude. Is bad. Other than I mean, that, like I don't I'm not like against like the we Facebook tried, thing, but. We tried to play around with it. I tried to play around with it. I got so frustrated with it. I just, I was like, screw it. I'll just stick with Twitch. Like, <laughs> well, yeah, because it's because you have to essentially the 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 workaround for getting that started is like for streaming on Facebook is you have to. Excuse me. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. No, that, was a, that was a dust cough. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. No, it's uh, you have to hit. Uh, you have to hit <laughs> stream to on your. Yeah, because I have. <laughs> He's got props. I mean, got I'm in props work mode. The people that I'm are listening. Work I got a screwdriver and uh, uh, an AB. Uh, this man's got thing. props. So, yeah. <laughs> if you have, uh, essentially, in Facebook, you have to hit stream on your OBS, then go into your Facebook web uh, UI, then hit stream on the Facebook thing. It won't trigger the stream. And then you have to, oh. like, every single time you want to stream, it's a different generated key. Which I understand what they're doing from a security perspective, but from like a you know streaming efficiency st- standpoint, it's like garbage. It sucks. It's just it not like great. garbage. This is the weirdest podcast I've ever seen. I love this. You ain't seen nothing yet, fam. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> so this is like it got I got everything. You know, 
You want, uh, you want something else? I got, yeah, you got screw, screwdriver. It's like uh, you're the you're the carrot top of the gaming podcast. It's world. like it's like it's amazing. You find what people have at their desks. Charlie's got screwdrivers. I've got like a plethora of Taco I got Bell some, hot sauce I got, packets. I got some first gen. He's got he's got first gen Pokemon cards. I this mean, is, this is the limited edition Mew that came out with the per- <laughs> Pokemon the movie. Let's talk about that real quick. Also, incredible. also the uh, the, uh, the, the, uh, the promo Pikachu. And they're not even in sleeves. What is? What are you doing with your here's life? A, here's a, a a childhood photo of my girlfriend. Oh, it's really funny. Amazing. She bring bangs back. Uh, she what has else bangs. We got? I don't know. I can't remember what Marley looks like. Oh, he's, he's just he's just grabbing everything around him. Here's all here's all the boys' medals. Oh, <laughs> oh you awesome. hear that clink clang 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 clang. clang, clang. <laughs> Oh my god! This is what we. This is what happens when you're stuck in quarantine and you have nothing else. I got one more. I got one more. I got one more. I got one more. We can't even focus on talking about games because that's all I like. That's all I've been doing is playing games and watching stuff because I have nothing else to do. I lost my my. I lost all my clients. Like, oh look at this man! He busted out some nunchucks. Don't hit yourself. Ooh. Oh, he just hit himself in the rib. He's Almost. trying. To, he's trying to act like he didn't just. It's really hard. It's, I'm trying have, to be I have smooth. Practice not just. I, I was hitting the uh, the the green screen. All right, you jerk. <laughs> that's what that, that's what this is. This is. Oh uh, my goodness, it's so good. Uh, but hey, wait. So, so back to the games. topic of games. Yes. Yeah, so Warzone. Yes. We I'm uh, I'm I'm enjoying Warzone a lot. I wish I had more time. Dude, I've only pretty much have done maybe half dozen matches with people whom we've you know with with a uh, who are with with us god i cannot i cannot speak i've had i have not had enough coffee today who um you know people in our in our discord so if you want to be a part uh you know and, and squad up with us for wars make sure you join our discord the link will be below true so check that out yeah squad up it's fun you know we're gonna have we have a good time I'll with uh, anybody who we play so play with anybody it'll be a good time but um going on trash. With, what i said as long as you're not trash i'll play with anybody as long as you're not trash oh, so you yeah, don't want to play with me no absolutely not no oh, god Man, come on, guys! You got no faith in me. Uh, let's talk about Division Two because we both played Division Two. Yeah, so I'm enjoying the Division Two. I know they just had a new, uh, new expansion drop, the War Zones of New York, War- Warlords of New York, War Zones, Warlord, of New York. War, Zo- War Zones of Warlords in New York. So it's War like, Zones it's of New York sounds like real life right now. <laughs> that does sound like real life. It's too too close to home. Mainly, the funny thing about this is. Because of the coronavirus, I actually started playing the Division Two, not realizing that they had dropped the new expansion. Because of, for those who don't know, the Division Two has a um, the storyline is there's a another branch of smallpox that gets delivered. The dollar flu, they call it. The, the dollar flu, they called it. So essentially, it's like you know somebody put smallpox onto a bunch of dollar bills, and they're distri- distributed on, on Black, Black Friday. Friday. Crazy. Um, actually, a really cool storyline. It is a cool storyline. I really like the story of. Uh, Sounds a little uh, coincidental. Yeah, I, d- I mean, honestly, that's the whole reason why I started playing it again. It's like, yeah, I foil hat. This is, this is a little crazy in terms of like what's going on for today's day and age. So I was like, maybe I'll just you know pick it back up and see what's going on. I was like, oh hey, we have a new expansion dropped. Oh hey, I bought the ultimate edition way back when, so I can actually play this game. So I just picked it up and started playing. And I have to say, I know Dom, we we talked about it briefly. I'm curious to hear your thoughts about it. But like, I'm really enjoying going back to New York. That's and awesome. Seeing I wish that the everything. Uh... I wish so. The game, the the expansion is dope. Like I do, I do enjoy the expansion. I don't. I, I definitely don't. Not. I, I did not like it. Right. The mm-hmm. the gripes I have, uh, like story's great, gameplay's great. Like they brought back Sticky Bomb, which I was a big Sticky Bomb player in Division One. Um, <clears throat> everything about it is good. They they the they addressed loot the loot problem with everyone just like getting loot. They're like, all right, we'll make it harder. We'll do heroic stuff. It'll be a little harder to get loot. Like no big deal, right? It's now like heroic difficulty is fairly difficult and it's like all just a grind bullet fest. You're just shooting at a boss forever, which sucks, but like whatever. Okay, I did that. I now get my dope loot and it'll be worth it, right? And it's just purples. It's a mass purple drop with gold. Gold and orange are the legendary and heroic, you know, or not heroic, like uh, special, like named weapons, right? Yeah. Um, which is fine, whatever. So I just have to do the hard stuff a lot and then hopefully something will drop. But the drop rate is garbage. So they've taken the the one thing that makes doing the heroic worth it, and it's not even worth it now, right? And then also, what I wanted the most out of this expansion was the Dark Zone to be back in New York, because the Dark Zone in Washington, D.C., in Division 2, 
is trash. You only have like 12 people at a time. The map is a lot smaller because Division One, it was like a huge chunk of New York was the dark zone. It was huge. You had like so many people in it. It was like, it was great. Like going rogue in that in Division One was God. I was such a jerk. I was such a jerk in Division One. Oh my God. I think we all were. I would just like wait for like a lot of people to group up and just sticky bomb them. They'd all die, and it was the best. It was the most fun. Oh, you're one of those guys. Yeah, oh, it was the worst. I was I was such a troll division. You're the guy that I'm always like, who just sits around and waits yep. for a group of people to get together yep. and then yep. sticky bombs us. One hundred percent. One hundred percent, Dom. I was the worst. But so I was hoping for that. But like, but so, like, so in my in my opinion, the end game playability with Warlords of New York isn't there. Which is kind of a bummer because that was like what they were like. That was the whole point of it was for more end game stuff. Um, yeah, and it seems like they just you know slapped a bunch of like well, didn't slap it. I mean, there's a bunch of stuff going on with it, but like they added a new storyline. Dom sort of spoiled it for me earlier. I did. So. I totally, I totally thought, I, t- I thought you beat it. I'm so sorry. No, I, I'm I'm halfway so through the campaign. So, <clears throat> I thought you um, beat which it. is fine. I'll uh, I'll I'll survive. <sighs> it's not like the whole reason why I got the expansion was for the story. It's fine. This is actually is that's the sarcasm because it is the exact reason why I got, the story the story is good I will say that the story is really fun uh, playing it with the you know <clears throat> I played it with my buddy Jason uh, which like I think it's a lot better with a a friend um, yeah I, I'm I'm playing it solo because I don't have any friends who play the game you should ma- I would say you should match make because it makes so? it, it make oh yeah it makes there's like some harder missions as you get in yeah I mean uh, the the final boss fights for those uh, those there's little operatives or whatever they're called. The, the, the vision rogue agents are hard as fuck, man. Very they're hard. Tough. I I would say, I would say you should definitely, you should definitely right, I'll uh, try that match make because they're, they're difficult uh, and they get yeah. harder. The last, the last mission, like the last mission is n- impossible alone. I'll say it right now. Don't even bother doing it alone. All right. I'll give it a try. With but, uh, matchmaking other up other than fun. that, like the game, like the game, they, they've always built the division. Well, it's a well-built game, regardless of the end game problems it may be facing. Right. Um, so I don't know. I, I, I want, I'll, I mean, like it's the thing I'll always play the division. So give me another expansion where they fix stuff and I'll come back. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it's such that we I, have I to do the, that. But. Yeah. I, I like the gameplay. I like the storyline. I like a lot of things that they did in the division. Like I, it's, I think as a looter shooter, it is one of my favorites Oh, easily. Just because the, the mechanics, the lore, the detail and the environments are is top notch. It's True. just like they, they put a lot of a care, like the art department really does a lot of, to make the game very immersible and make oh, you feel easy. like you're there in that world. Uh, it's just unfortunate that like, you know, the mechanic teams or the raid teams or whatever it is that they have doing that stuff. is just kind that, of falling short a little bit, this, but because like you have so many different pieces to video games. And so you want to sit there and be like, you know what the shit, who, who makes the division? Uh, it's Ubisoft. U- Ubisoft. You want like, what the shit Ubisoft, but like, <laughs> God, there's so many pieces. There's so many pieces in any video game. Shit, yeah. Yeah. Well, they're, they're just the, um, the I think they're right. just the, the studio. I can't remember who right. makes it. I think it's massive. Yes, maybe? it is massive. Yes, it is massive. So what the shit massive, but, um, Hey, yeah, there's just so many pieces to every video game. Like, you know, and that's the hard thing is, I mean, I don't want to play a blame game. No one wants to do that. I know, love but. playing the blame game. dude. I live yeah, to play do. the blame game. You live for that shit. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I'm still playing a little bit. Like, my buddy Jason, like, you know, Jason, he he's, like, mm-hmm. he's back in hard. Uh, he'll be like, all right, let's, let's go let's let's go go grind this stuff out. I'm like, oh, Jason, I just don't want to do it. I just don't want to yeah. do it. Is it the worst I, when you just kind of get, like, burnt on a game like that and your boy is just like, man, let's go, man. Let's play this for, like, the next 12 hours. Like, he's excited. Like, I I'm not excited. But it's not even just that. I'm just not excited about it. You know? I get it. I get I'd it. Be, totally. I'd be, I, I, was, I, I had my fun with it. Um, but then once my fun got done, you know, there's too, you know, there's other stuff to do, you know, like, like doom eternal and I can't wait you know, the, the soon to be released, uh, final fantasy seven, dude, yeah. I, I read an article yesterday that they're saying that there's going to be a possible delay on the release of the physical copies. And I was oh, like, sure. I will physically drive my ass to the distribution center and pick my <laughs> copy up, man. Like, don't you sure. do this to me. Yeah. Don't you yeah. do this to me. So that, there... that, good. I was going to say that's, that's interesting because like I, I normally 
I normally do. I stop doing physical copies unless it's like a special edition of something that I'm looking forward to, like yeah, a steel book or something. Sure. And so Final Fantasy seven is one of those few that I was like, well, I want the steel book. I want the physical copy of it. Yeah. It's a, it has such a it is it is such a classic and a staple in gaming history for me. So it's like I really wanted to have that tangible copy of it as opposed to just having a digital download like yeah. Jim Eternal. I'll have a digital download of it. I don't really care. Yeah, but like that copy of uh, Final Fantasy VII, I think is like what I really want, which is why I get like some of the collector's editions and everything. So it, it's interesting that that's the case. They're like, oh, you can just order the digital copy of it. So I wish that they would like if they if there was a time in which they say, okay, we're going to be we're going to have a shortage of physical copies. Like here's a free download. Here's a code to download the game, and we'll send you the physical copy. I think right. is what would that would be, be the nice. right thing to do. 100%. I don't think we're going to do it. I hundred percent. Did we actually? I, I, did we talk about the demo? Like, the, I can't remember if we. I don't think we. I think podcast. no. I think we were waiting. Not on the podcast. No, yeah. we talked about it. We talked so, about it in Discord. So okay. So can I give? Can I give my? Absolutely. No, please do. I, I want to hear it. Incredible. Like I, I personally, I don't see. I, I could not find any flaws in in what I was doing. Um, okay. In terms of like, I don't like those kinds of combat systems because I'm an old school RPG gamer. I love turn based combat. Um, because it's it to me, it's like a little bit more about strategy and and taking your time to make the right decisions. But also, I just like the lackadaisical gameplay. Um, that's my style of game. But this was great because it is a live action game. However, when you want to use an ability or you know cast a spell or tell like Barrett to do something. It doesn't just like pause the game. It's still going in like super duper slow motion in the background, which kind of still gives you that element of like, okay, don't take 10 years to make a decision, but you're not going to die if you don't make a decision within the next split second, you know? Sure. And um, there were so many little small details about it that they nailed because, you know, like as Charlie was saying, like for, I, I know you're not the biggest fan of it, but for like, for me, this is like, the game of my childhood experience that yeah. like probably I sank like 200, 300 hours into this game as a kid, getting like every yeah. single materia, getting everybody to 99, blah, 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 killing the ultimate weapon, uh, all that stuff. And just the first like 10 to 15 minutes of gameplay, just God, it just sent like chills down my spine as to like how good I thought it was, you know, because yeah, like what is, what is the beta? Is it just like the beginning of the game? It's like, yeah, so you can go to the end of the first reactor uh, where it, you know, you fight the um, this is going to sound terrible. I don't even know the name of the first boss. I think it's like the scorpion something okay, which the boss dude the first boss in. OK, so in the in the original game, the first boss is a joke, right? You can just like walk all over it. But like Full Metal and I were talking about how dude, the first boss fight is like so intuitive. Like you can't just oh really like spam the X button. No, you had to like actually kill this fool maneuver abilities <laughs> and figure out like the, the pattern he's going to attack in and back out and back That's in. Like there was actually like skill involved in killing the first boss. And I was just like, damn dude, like huh. I'm thinking about all the bosses in the game. I'm like, this yeah. could get really cool, you know? Yeah. And they nailed like little details where like Cloud and Barrett don't get along really well with each other. Like they kind of clash. There's there's a little bit of tension between the two of them. And um, one okay, this is like a small detail that I was looking for because as a kid, I always thought it was so cool the idea of like or the concept that like they carry these weapons and they put like these little materia gems in the weapons. Okay. Well, they actually replicated that, and when you're like switching materia around, it actually shows the like green materia in Cloud's. Uh, sword so like uh, for me cool. i was like hats off for like very small attention to detail right sure. there because that's the shit that people like i really wanted to see you know that's because awesome. as a kid you're like you're only able to like envision it in your head you're not able to see it like physically in the game but as an adult and now they have these games that are so like graphically advanced it was just yeah. cool to see that they didn't just like look over something like that and they sure. really wanted to deliver the full package of making a quality remake instead of just like enhancing the graphics and spitting out something that they're like oh people will buy this because it's got final fantasy 7 on the title like they really cared about <laughs> yeah 
Yeah, yeah, that's a prime. Yeah, that's Literally, actually a great comparison. The, the yeah, perfect example. It's like that's it's not even Warcraft Forge wasn't even like they 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 bettered the graphics. They barely slapped a coat of paint on it, and we're like, here you go, <laughs> you'll you'll pay for this. You're idiots. Yeah. You like Blizzard. So. I'm super excited, man. I mean, I, I literally like, and, and not only that, the way they end it, it's like you kill the boss and you come back and you're like getting ready and you're thinking in your head, you're like, oh yeah, now we're going to get the train. We're going to go back to like the little uh, encampment. You get to see Tifa for the first time. Like, I want to see what they made Tifa look like. What does she say? That's the other thing. They got voices. Like Cloud never said a word in Final oh, really? Fantasy VII. Man, no, he, he did not say a doing. word. And he's actually like talking. So like for me, I'm like, oh shit. Like that's so that's, awesome. that's such a foreign thought to me, you know, and um, <laughs> yeah. I don't know, but they ended it and it's like it, it like goes into this CGI cut scene of like cloud walking into uh, I guess it's Midgar and uh, like one of the cities and he sees Aerith and like it's just like, oh, my God. I mean, pure nostalgia boners all over the place for that game. And then they showed they they ended it with like showing a picture of Sephiroth and it's like. Bro, I want to hear what he sounds like. Like, I want to see that first cutscene when you first get out of Midgar and you're like in the little town and, and Cloud gives the first story to the group about how he went back or like how he used to be a, a seed soldier. And he's like going on the little adventure to his hometown with, yeah. with Sephiroth and like, True. bro, just, God, Sephiroth. I can't, I can't, dude. It's uh, you, you, uh, next topic. I, I got so many nerd boners for this game, dude. It's crazy. I'm, I'm looking forward to playing it. And it's what uh, it's only what I'm, they, per, they pushed back to April 10th is what it yeah, was. Yeah. So hopefully, uh, what, two hopefully and a half, we'll, three weeks away. Yeah. yeah. So it's not that bad. So that's, that's exciting. Hopefully uh, the world survives until then. The world survives. Yeah. I know. I know. I'm just a hundred percent. No, it'll be, it'll be fine. Uh, yeah, a, a side be. note real quick. Uh, our war just started in Marvel strike Force. Take a guess who we got matched up against. Uh, Legion of Cabal. Legion of Cabal. Wait, wait, OG. Take Legion a, of Cabal? Take a, OG. Take... Like oh, they, just, we we have eight hundred and our 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 um our points are like eight eight fifteen or something like that is our our war score. They're at eight eighteen seventy five. Have already a, uh, have a nice vacation. Yeah, uh, we've had workations for the past um I think six wars. Yeah. So Dang. I'm a little frustrated with it. That anyway. sucks. <laughs> It happens. It happens. It happens way more than I you would think. It's also that's, a reason I mean, why you know, that's why like being a high I mean being in a higher alliance will do that. You're gonna get higher people. Yeah, it's just frustrating. But anyway, it sucks. Neither, it's neither here nor there. Yeah, first world uh, problems over there. I, I, I wouldn't world, mind at yeah. the end of this we could talk a little bit about strike force. Oh like well bro, <laughs> bros, we gotta we gotta open up my forty eight red stars together, you know. Well you got oh, yeah. you better stream that. I will. Yeah, I yeah. just can't wait to um, see the disappointment on your face. <laughs> it's gonna be real. It's, it's gonna, gonna be, be real. real good. Make sure you do seed theory before that, though. Oh, oh. Let also um, back back at other games. Uh, I started playing Marvel Super War, which we talked a little bit about in like the in the in the in the Discord. So, what are your guys' thoughts uh, on that game? So, Marvel Super War. I get to give a, a brief description. Marvel Super War is a new Marvel MOBA. There was another mobile Marvel MOBA game. Like League of Legends, but with Marvel it's characters a tongue, and it's a tongue mobile. twister. I know it's actually pretty good. Uh, Marvel characters, like League of Legends style game, uh, on mobile platform. It's only out. It's 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 like only out in like India and Asia, and I or India's in Asia, right? So it's uh it's like various parts of Asia. I don't think it's out in Europe. Maybe it's in Europe. I don't know. Regardless, um, it the server issue is is a little difficult because like i'm not in any of those places so i have a high ping usually and uh the game recognizes if you're playing outside of the allowed zone so you only get 10 games until it are you serious yeah uh which the other day i thought i was just having an error and i i read up online that if you're not if your ip is coming out of like you know america or somewhere else that it's not globally I launched yet get you a vpn well, the thing is, all you have to do is sign in as a guest. You can keep signing in as a guest, and you'll mm. always get those games. So gotcha. whatever, it's like a stupid well, workaround. No progress, though, right? No progress, but like whatever. I'll wait for you the once, once the game like global, yeah. Once it like globally launches, I don't, I don't mind. Uh, it's I'm really actually fun. curious what is what is holding it back from globally being launched. I assume China being a full lockdown. You know, I assume at this point, like any any any, you know, like I, I'm curious if they even had a date before, but whatever it is, I'm sure it got shifted. You know, yeah. Like, well, it's uh, what is it? It's it's mainly they do these things so that we can do testing server load. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, they can do a bunch of IT stuff essentially, Especially like figuring out. They, they do this a lot. Up. I feel like. 
Yeah. Well, it's not just like, oh, okay, le- release it the world. And all of a sudden, if, if you're going from a player size of like, you know, 20,000 to 2 million, you know, it, it, can, yeah. it, it can overload yeah. the systems and make things bad. So they just- and, and, and NetEase is a legitimate company, like a gaming site. Like, you know, they're, they're going to, they're not going to, they're going to, they're going to do shit like this because they're going to make sure that it shit is launched properly. The game's yeah. really fun. I had to figure out like my key mapping. Oh, what a concept. Um, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I, I, you know, the key mapping was a little difficult. They're actually Knox had a suggested key mapping from other players. And I tried that out. It's not so bad. Um, but yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely interesting. I, I am enjoying it. Uh, the having to sign it out every time 10 games is annoying, but they, 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 they did a good job. I'm sure there are other mobile, uh, MOBA games. Yeah, there played- are. Yeah, uh, there's I a big one. But... I don't know why I can't think of the name of it, but I tried one out for a while. It's, it's, on, it's on iOS. I think it's called like um, Vainglory. Yes, it, it that's the one yeah. I played. Yeah, it's it's actually uh, a buddy of mine when I was at programming school. He and I would play it together, and we would. It was yeah. it was actually a lot of fun. But yeah. uh, it just you know it just for me, I was like, I just want to go play League. But, exactly. You know, exactly. I, have, I have a hard time playing MOBA games because I don't know what to do, where to go. It feels kind of slow to me at the beginning. Um, well, that's the point. In the beginning. Beginning. Yeah, exactly. I mean, League is like, okay, League to me, the thing that I love about League of Legends and then, and it, is that it's it's in your brain, you're essentially playing a very high level chess match because there are a lot of decisions you have to make and then you have to oh, add man. in. Uh, mechanical skill with the, with it you know and yeah. like split second decision making of saying like oh my god i'm mid lane there's nobody around it's three minutes and 15 seconds into the game okay jungler's gonna gank somewhere like i know he's coming from somewhere is he gonna go top is he gonna go mid is he gonna go bottom does he suck and he's not even gonna show up anywhere like where what's going on here and then it's like oh well the mid laner is being super aggressive like that means that the jungler must be by nearby or he's just stupid should i take advantage of this should i keep farming like those are all the decisions that go through my mind while I'm playing. And it's like, that's, that's why yeah. I guess I like those as, as, as compared to things like, uh, battle Royale games where I suck complete donkey balls at. And I know yeah, some I of those know. words. I don't know. I don't know anything what you're just talking about for <laughs> it's really? some other stuff. people. I don't know. So okay. Like, well, three, I mean, three lanes, you have top, bottom, middle. I, 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 understand, lane. I understand that. Okay. But yeah. I, I don't understand the strategy involved in like how to do this thing. Like that's why like, that's, I was that going is the and trying to kill people. That you is the strategy. And that's why yeah. that's, I mean, that's, I guess like it, that. It, it also is a, another ex, uh, example of get good. Ooh. 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 I, 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 I will say this much. The more you play, you'll figure out why I, you I, go jungle. I will say this or... much. I've been playing League for since the beginning of it. Like, literally, uh, it was in beta when my buddies and I first got a code on it. And I've been dog shit at that game for so many years. League's and also this, tough. There's so many people. There's so many people, dude. And, you there's know, people. as adults, dude, I know I'm getting clowned by, like, 13 or 14-year-old oh, kids sometimes. Like, clowns, easily. you know? Easily. Easily. And... The thing is, is that I, this last season was the first time I said to myself, I'm going to mute chat completely. Like, I'm not going to talk to anybody ever. All I'm going to do is ping like where I want to go, which means yeah. I can do the why well, you know what pinging means. And when I stopped getting emotional in the games, I actually made it to gold, which is like actually tough in league. Like getting yeah. out of silver is actually very difficult. And yeah, I mean, yeah. It, it was it, like you said, you have to actually like, it's focus it. on on your skill like what you're doing your decision making and that it, it yeah my mobile Biggest. was always uh heroes of the storm which is uh blizzard's yeah, moba and one. it's funny i haven't played it in so long but uh marvel super war uh prompted me to go re-download uh here's that'd storm. be so fun if the three of us could play it together like uh, that'd be, oh, i what? mean that'd well, be so great i would, funny, I would try. love to learn how to do that so yeah. that's the problem is we try playing super war me vash and white fang also big shout out to white fang uh, probably our biggest uh uh i don't want to say fan that feels like it's degrading he's a supporter he's a friend yeah, support. friend of the pod um friend of the fam friend, yeah I, I i like the friend of the pod uh tag uh we we tried playing it we joined up we all made it accounts uh <clears throat> But since we're not in the uh, the zone, our ping is too high apparently, so it won't let us join a game together. Oh, which sucks. I know. That does I suck. know. 
I know it was such a bummer, but the thing is, at some point, the game will get globally released. Yeah. Honestly, that'll probably be my new game. That'll be the game that. Oh, I can't. Playing. I'm sorry, but I can't wait to play it on this. Like, because oh, yeah, I, 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 the iPhone 11, like once I got this thing like a month or two ago, yeah. I has made my mobile gaming experience exponentially better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why, like, I'm I'm looking forward to the new uh, Future Revolution. That will be my game. Oh, that was gonna be so much fun. There's dude. like, there's like super, there's super cool uh skins like all the skins are really awesome they have yeah, really good cool. char- their library of characters is already awesome i can't wait for they're gonna have so many characters in that game uh and like they they've done a good job of of classification for characters like mantis being a hero like uh vision being an er- energy character like there's all these like they they, they did go with the good with the classification system it's it's fun i'm excited i'm think- really excited do you think Punisher will get a military tag or a defender no, tag? Not, no, he no. So it, doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't work like there's no there's no like team tags, but Punisher will probably be a marksman, obviously, or an assassin, maybe. Probably no, probably a marksman. Only Marvel Strike it's, Force players will understand that reference. Yeah, they, yeah. yes, they will. Uh, yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. I, I'm I'm excited for a global release. I've been like, I have like keywords tagged in the. Uh, Speaking of global global releases, if y'all are bored, uh, any listeners of the pod, and you want a fun game to try out, uh, the new Seven Deadly Sins game that came out from Netmarble, uh, Seven Deadly Sins, Grain Cross. I mean, it's definitely an anime game. If you're not into that kind of stuff, you won't like it. But I will tell you right now that I have been like very casually playing it. It's a very well put together game. Like it's actually like for a mobile game, the graphics are great and you're basically like interacting with the actual anime itself. So if you've never seen, if you've watched it, eh, just something to do. I think it's mm. fun, but quality mobile games. So I feel like I got to tell people about them when I see them. Quality. Yeah. It's a quality game, you know? Yeah. But unlike the one that I log into every day. Yeah. I'm so far behind on blitz. Not even funny. I'm at. Oh, you mean right you now. mean you're? Is that, oh, yeah. So am I, dude. God, I've just been so busy. I haven't had any time to do any blitz hits. Well, the funny thing is that two mil is high for me. <laughs> Are, is that how much you're at right now? Yeah, I'm at two million wow. in, the, in the blob. Blitz. I'm at four, and I'm because I want, like, I want blob. Like I, I'm, I'm, at, I'm at like sixty k, and I'm just, I'm just the new, the new brotherhood is actually kind of cool with Toad and Blob. Like, it's, I, 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 I don't have a single Marauder upgraded except for obviously Sabretooth and Mystique only because they were in Brotherhood. But I, I want to do Brotherhood with Toad and Blob because it seems like it's a good Colson killer. Yeah, I feel like. But anyway, <clears throat> we'll talk about that later. Yeah, uh, yeah. Do you have something else to talk about? Because I have a big thing to talk about. Ooh, no, no, that's pretty much all I'm playing at this point. <laughs> oh, can I talk about Animal Crossing really fast? I don't, oh, it's, yeah, it's, Animal it's Crossing. really fast. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's technically so, what we're playing. I, uh, I just, I mean, it just came out yesterday, obviously. And um, I have never played an Animal Crossing game before. If you had asked me if I would buy the game myself, I would never go out and buy it. However, a friend gifted it to me. So I'm definitely, you know, sinking some time into it. Okay. And I think it is for what's going on right now in the world. It's quite enjoyable to like have a game where I'm not Chill. stressed about sh- like shooting anything, yeah. getting kills, no like virus stuff. I'm just chilling, dude. I'm like, oh man, I could buy a smoker for my house. Like, yeah, let me let me get the smoker going so I can invite my boys over. We can have some yeah. ribs. You know? I don't yeah. know, it's just something fun and chill to do, you know. And and I get why it's such a like if I had a kid, if I had kids, I would 100% let them play this game because it is like wholesome AF and it's just um, it's a cute game. It's very Nintendo. It's oh, very yeah. well put together. Uh, what if anything to say it's very Nintendo. Like, that's very true. It's very oh, Nintendo. dude. It's a hundred percent Nintendo, man. Like when you're when, like, even as you're like, like when you get in the very first thing you do, it's like two little raccoons and they have that, like they have this like language they speak that it's almost like uh it's not it, it is english but it's it's like a game yeah. coded yeah it's like a, sure. i don't know how to i don't know how to explain yeah, yeah. it but um it's very whimsical it made me laugh a bit which That's is funny. like yeah which i i needed to laugh because everything's yeah. so like doom and gloom in the world right now <laughs> yeah. and you know i'm just like la- I'm, I, I was dying laughing okay so like the first thing i did is i picked up like I, it, the first thing is like Go pick. Uh, so oh, oh, one thing I think is interesting is everybody, everybody across the world has different fruits on their on their farm. So like my buddy in, in the UK has peach or I mean, had pears. I had oranges. My other friend had bananas. Another girl I'm friends with had like cherries on her farm. Oh, awesome. And we can go to each other's farms. We can like oh, pick sure. that. You can go to each other's like little things and like put things in their item box for them. Like you can like leave presents for people. Right. No, it's but cool. uh, the thing I thought was really funny is while I was collecting stuff, I started picking up weeds. And one of the little mini raccoons is like, hey, 
if you got any extra weed, it didn't have the plural S. It's like, I'll buy it off of you. So I took a screenshot of it and I sent it to my buddy at Nintendo. I was like, what kind of kids game is this, man? I'm right. going around, picked up all the weed on my island and these little raccoons want to buy it from me? Like, is this a little drug tr- simulator, little, little dude? Trash like, pandas yeah, buy little trash pandas trying them. to buy some weed off me, man? Like, damn, dude. Like, yeah, I, got a, I got a kick out of it. So even as a 35-year-old adult, I got a kick out of it. Like that to me is a good game, um, but well, you, uh, you you just reminded me there is one more game, new game. I started not new for everyone else, but new for me. Me and Mallory started playing Undercooked. Is it Overcooked? Overcooked oh, that's a, that's a fantastic yeah. game, dude. Uh, I it I'm surprised is you guys are still together. So, <laughs> dude, it is so hard. Yeah, it requires a lot of coordination. It actually. is so hard. I am like, I should just remember we should play. Uh, Amanda and I should play that because we we've pl- we've played that game so many times. It's so good. Anyway. It it hurts how difficult it is. It's I was like this is yeah. this is a genuinely hard, like it's like I need the fish I need the fish give me the fish it's like <laughs> and then yeah there's 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 um missions where like the things you get locked in and out and you can't do anything you're like the I plat- need pizza and, give me the goddamn tomatoes yeah, like the platform is moving in the yeah. sky you might fall off oh my that one's hard so the stakes now so just good. imagine what that's like in real life. When you got a dining room full of hungry ass people. Yeah, but you also have like 14 like sous chefs, you have assistants, oh. you have servers. Or or okay. you just, you know, have tray table uh trays of pasta, penne, ragu, and you're fine. Excuse me? Yeah. I don't know what I'm saying. This word is coming up. Penne, ragu, what? <laughs> Did you just name a sauce and a and a and a type of noodle? You physically hurt me. What's Did you just deal? drop the rag don't did this man just drop ragu in front of both of us? He did. It's embarrassing. It's <laughs> embarrassing. Shit, I'm sure, you know I'm people... sure my wife will hear this and she'd be like, you're cut off. You know yeah, what's funny definitely... is in the post-apocalyptic grocery store run that I did the other day, the produce section had like very limited things. But let me tell you one thing your boy did not miss out on. Tomatoes, garlic, one yeah. onion, and a big ass sprig of basil. And I yeah. made myself like three gallons of tomato sauce. It's and so I was easy. cracking up at everybody buying glasses of like jars it's of so tomato easy. sauce. Well, I will say this. I did buy a couple uh, jars of Rouse brand as a literal backup. Uh, yeah. But hey, I hey. got I mad. Mean, I wouldn't be mad at you either because where you are, I would be. It's a little bit different for me. I live well, the funny literally thing walking that, distance to one of the biggest grocery publics in America. So right. like. It's not as scary to me right See, now. The grocery stores aren't so bad. It's definitely a little. It's a little more scarce. The funny yeah. thing is, um, the bread, the bread section of like every grocery store is picked clean. But the the, the, the 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 reason I say this is funny is, I like a brand called Dave's Power Bread. Okay. It's like, yeah, I uh, like that too. Yeah, Dave's is great. Dave uses, uh, I think it's like they do something like cool. It's like ex cons, like help make the bread or something, it's something like Churn Boy. Like okay, that. yeah. Uh, but like the bread, it's not necessarily organic, but it uses organic materials. The bread is just good. Like it's higher in protein. Blah 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 blah. People must think it's like some like gluten free or some kind of like weird like hippy dippy like bread or something because there was none of it sold out. None of it. Every single bread was gone, <laughs> but every single Dave's Power Bread was there. I got, we got a couple of loaves that froze. That's one. the best. That's the yeah, best. That's, 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 that's like one of those few times where you're like, my like weird palate came through in the clutch. Oh, dude, seriously. Yeah, we got, we got, a, we got two loaves. We froze one, had the other one out for just regular need, I guess. Uh, that absolutely crazy. But yeah, so try back to your big thing. What were you gonna talk about? Yeah, we're done talking about. So, I don't know if you guys saw this, but they finally released the specs for the PlayStation Five. Oh, oh and Xbox, yeah, and Xbox Series X too. Yeah, yeah, crazy. yeah. so crazy. the big, yeah, they're ridiculous. I, I don't, Dom, you want to queue up the Xbox? Uh, yeah, X let me get that box thing. Whatever it's Xbox called, Xbox Series X. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll queue up the hype meter over here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, so I want to go. I want to go through the. I want to go through the spec <laughs> of the PlayStation. So uh, there's two big takeaways I want to talk about from this. Once we go through it, so the CPU for the PlayStation Five it has an x86 64 AMD Ryzen Gen, uh, Zen Two. Not sure what, exactly what that is. It's got eight cores, sixteen threads. It can do a variable frequency up to three point five gigahertz, which is pretty good, I would say, for uh, like overclocking and whatnot. Okay. GPU is a Adon, uh, AMD Radon RDNA two base graphics engine with a ray tracing acceleration, and it can do variable fre- frequency up to two point two three gigahertz. And the thing that's uh, it's making people like go nuts is the teraflops. It does ten point three teraflops. I don't know if you guys have been watching Twitter at all, but like literally all game developers are saying like teraflops have not been a measure of performance in like 10, 15 years. So like it re- literally means nothing. And people are like, you should just get rid of teraflops. No one gives a shit about teraflops. 
hilarious in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, system memory is a GDR <clears throat> GDR six, a 16 gigabytes of Ram um, with 448 gigabytes per sec bandwidth. The, uh, SSD, which I personally think is going to be the game changer of all of these things, is uh, the game. The SSD is a 825 gigabyte SSD. I'm sure that'll be upgradable if you want to later with a 5.5 gigabyte per second read bandwidth. So that is essentially NVMe uh, style read write. As somebody who was a DIT for many years, uh, the biggest thing for me in terms of like downloading and accessing media is bandwidth. So essentially like you could have SSD drives and whatever all the way through, but like, unless it's hardwired into your computer or anything like that, you're going to have a, a, a hard time accessing anything, no matter what your thing is. So like the, the bandwidth is the biggest limiting factor True. of what it is that you have. Cause you, I mean, you can throw an SSD into a PlayStation four now and you'll be fine. But like it really, what really comes down to is, how fast it can access it so that's what we call read write speed that's what we call like megabits per second the fact this has a 5.5 gigabyte per second uh base speed which is probably going to be somewhere around the eight to nine hundred megabytes per second like in actuality in my opinion um that's a lot that's very fast that just means like loading time they're going to be not like practically non-existent yeah. um they can render they can look like a render things much faster because of the read write speeds um essentially just the loading the textures unloading um going to ram that kind of stuff as well as being able to have the sort of like you know loading of essentially just everything loading in general is going to be speedier so that way you know you can have higher graphics for all this stuff uh, that can load in faster hopefully it won't be as many pop textures like there are like with the division two unfortunately um that kind of stuff it has uh it'll do a uhd blu-ray up to 100 gigabyte per disc which is essentially dual layer uh, blu-ray at the moment yep. and it will support up to 4k 120 hertz tvs 8k tvs and uh vrr which is variable rate refreshes um specifically via hdmi 2.1 which is a big thing um, and then they said they're doing a new audio board on there which is called tempest 3d audio tech i personally have not looked into what yeah. this is but from everything that i'm hearing it's not atmos it's better than Atmos Interesting. essentially um, allows you to have 3d audio, which um, is, pr which is dynamic as opposed to pre-programmed. So the, how things work with surround sound and, and, um, and everything right now in like Atmos is there are pre-designed uh, predetermined channels of audio. So you have your, you know, your speakers, your surround sound, your ceiling speakers and whatnot all around you that have like, you know, are coded into the audio cues. Like, Hey, when the player is looking this way, these channels are enabled and mm. it switches as you move your camera. So essentially it, it's, it's hard coded. Whereas I'm assuming with the 3d audio tech, it is software um, enabled. So that way your developers can just say, okay, when you're walking past a cat, the cat makes this sound and therefore the 3d audio will then take over and determine where it goes. So, which is why it's a, it's a hardware issue, not necessarily sure. a software issue. So, like that. so I'm kind of excited for all that. Cause that means also if you're doing that and you're playing with headphones and all you have are stereo headphones, that'll take into effect your stereo headphones. So you'll hear 3d audio within your stereo headphones. I could be wrong about that, but that's what I'm taking from no, it's, that. That's a good, that, that's is. a good, uh, yeah. Uh, I don't want this to be like a, a like a oh my god this is so much better than that. But the Xbox does have slightly better specs, and I'm sure that they waited purposely for PlayStation stuff first. I don't know who knows, but I thought the, the X Xbox stuff came first and then, and then PlayStation oh, did it? afterwards. Oh, interesting. Yes. Well, you know, it's the same thing. CPU is eight cores, um, three point eight gigahertz uh, Zen two CPU, a twelve teraflops. Uh, no one cares about teraflops. Uh, no one cares about teraflops. Same same GPU, just more teraflops, whatever that means. Uh, seven nanometers. Uh, memory is 16 gigs, GDR6. Um, the internal storage is one terabyte NVMe SSD with a slot expansion. So you could add another NV NVMe SSD in. Uh, yeah. 4.8 gigab uh, gigabits a second. Um, and then also they have an external storage besides the expansion, which uses USB 3.2 uh support and then the same thing 4k uhd blu-ray for in the performance target is 4k 60 frames a second up to 120 frames a second which is interesting um both very similar like super similar specs similar specs uh similar similar specs which is pretty dope simulation uh, simulation exactly um well i think it's like a 500 hundred dollar price point and then they have a cheaper option too which something about it is different i don't remember what 
Uh, I mean, I'm not going to be getting it anytime soon, but it's so dope. Uh, it's still like that is a good computer, let alone, yeah. let alone a good console. Like that, that shit, that's in pretty, pretty, it, it, at some point, it's just all going to blend together. You know? Yeah. It's, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's I that, mean, company, they're already uh, close. that, that company origin, they make desktops with built-in Xboxes and Playstations. That's pretty cool. <laughs> what is that? Is that like just to kind of make streaming? Sure. Maybe? Just the whole, the whole package More streamlined here. Process. right now I got space on my desk for my xbox on the ground i have my pc mm. that's that's less cables going back and forth that's like all of that you know what i mean true i think that's a very interesting idea you know but yeah those are those are beefy consoles like that's yeah that's insane that's close to what i'm doing right now for my system except i have you know dual 2080 ti's my computer but yeah yeah so I'm I'm excited for this. I mean, the, the PlayStation Five is going to be a day one purchase for me, no matter what. Like as sure. soon as they open pre-orders, I'm pre-ordering that shit. It's yep. Like to, pretty much spending all the the biggest com, um, capabilities you can get for that because I think it's just going to be incredible. And I I know there's a lot of flack of like, oh well, uh, you know, Xbox is technically better specs than PlayStation. But again, blah, it's blah, so blah, blah. similar. But it's like it, like that's like, that shit can shut up with like, all those people talking about that because it's so You're minor. Gonna, you're it's gonna so have bad. that no matter what, so it, it wouldn't matter if, it, if PlayStation was better. Really it would have been, yeah. I mean, it's just more about like the games and access to you know different yeah. things. Um, it's they're it's all also, what you're, like you play. That's, I, that's I think it's, it's also what you're used to, right? Exactly. Like, yeah. If you're you if you've been a PlayStation user for so long, like an Xbox, like if I were to load up an Xbox, the UI, it's going to take me. Well, I mean. Yeah. I, yeah, whatever it's at like, this point it's really the controller it's a minor me. inconvenience oh yeah that like, too. that's too. we yeah. have with xbox we have the um that's a dope disc- controller by the way thank you it's like the call of duty one from a couple of years ago i want yeah. an elite but i'm not spending like a 180 dollars especially right yeah. now uh, i want to try scuff as well but i'm not spending that money you know we have with xbox we have the displaced uh, uh joystick layout but with playstation mm. we have them side by side right charlie right yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. that's actually um I didn't buy the pro version of the switch controller, which is like the wireless one. Cause it's oh, yeah, like, I I have it was like 80 or what is it? Like 80 or 90 bucks. It's, 80, it's 80 bucks. Yeah. I, honestly, I'm, I'm a little bit of a cheap ass. So I straight up, I bought the, uh, the wired version of that. It's I love good. it, dude. I love it. Love it. I uh, actually dude, I love the switch, man. Like I don't have great. a lot of games for it, but you know, you, we can, we can sit here and the two systems can tout like which is great. tech specs all they want. But for me, I think the switch provides something that neither one of the other consoles provide, which switch is, great. uh, just wholesome like, gaming. <laughs> yeah, actually. Yeah. That that's actually probably the most, the biggest thing. Let's not even talk about the portability, but, um, yeah. I just, yeah, I don't know. Also, dude, I'm a huge fan of Nintendo's, uh, the classic and the super Nintendo store. Those, oh, are so two libraries. Those. those are two libraries that I every time they have new additions, that's like I can't yeah. wait to see what they are because I'm always hoping if it's it's just something that like uh, I played as a child and, you know, I can't wait to just be able to play it again. I don't know. It's a great. Yeah. It's, it's a great thing, man. Yeah, yeah. So I, 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 I feel I like that's... there's a yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what this all does. I know a lot of people have been saying that like doesn't matter. You know, the best graphics and the best resolution, whatever, it's still going to take time to build all this stuff, especially if you're doing right. higher resolution. You also have to have a, more time. the right TV for it, too. Yeah. Right so, display, um, whatever you want to say. Yeah. Yeah. Display works just as well. Uh, but yeah, I'm I'm curious to see what happens with all this stuff, man. Please do for life. <laughs> it's going to be uh, quite an interesting time, to say the least. So. Bam. Anything else out, out there in the uh, gaming world to discuss? Are we missing anything in, spe- you know, specifically? I mean, obviously, there's a lot of stuff happening with, like, stuff with the coronavirus, I'm sure. I'm sure yeah, like, I'm there's sure. company stuff happening here and there, but mm-hmm. all this stuff will get laid out as time goes on. Yeah, that's fine. Just one more thing to worry about. Yep. But Just one more thing to worry about. Yeah, amen to <laughs> that. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to pay my uh, two mortgages. We'll see. We'll, we'll all in the end we'll all be okay rent my house rent my condo come on come on you know you want to somebody out there in the in the world hire, will do hire vash to uh produce a film about the effects of 
coronavirus in America. Um, documentary. That's documentary. Sounds, yeah. That's terrible, actually. I know, uh, right? <laughs> not a great idea. Dami, do some more shoots so I can get my camera out there. Anyway, yeah, do some more shoots. Uh, so you, have a job. Thank you guys all for coming out and being a part of us. That'll be our episode for today. You can find us on Instagram at OG.podcast. Our, our Twitter is Overachievers P. Our website is beingoverachiever.com where you can get this episode and every episode where we talk mostly about Marvel Strike Force video games, coronavirus, flexing, chef stuff. And Hell yeah. Much, and how much I have to, uh, how many mortgages I have to pay. So. <laughs> but uh, anyway, thank you guys very much. We'll stay on the stream for a bit. If you want to check us out live, you can do it whenever we record, typically on Sundays, but this Sunday I'm moving. So um, you can check us out there on twitch.tv slash OG podcast. Until next time, stay safe, everybody. Wash, Wash your hands, social man. distancing. Perfect. <laughs>